Hi Libra and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from October 16th to the 22nd. These are my predictions for this week. So uh, I hope that you're all doing well Libra and uh, so I just want to mention to everybody before I get started with the reading just like two heads up is that one if you're looking for a reader a person that is a healer that attaches the Akashic Records and has different modalities uh, in healing uh, you can reach out to Mark. He's underneath my description box below. He has been helping people here on my channel for the last six years. and has amazing reviews. There's his email and his website. For those of you that live in the Montreal, Quebec area and you want a session one-on-one -on -one with me, uh, I have an email also underneath the description box below. And a friend of mine will be contacting you. Uh, I know a lot of you have written to me. Just have to be patient because people have lives, they have jobs. And she's helping me to uh, go through these emails. She will be sending you, uh, a, you know, a message. And uh, her name is Mary, so you'll know it's, uh, uh, you'll know that uh, she is a part of my Soul Tribe family. Okay, uh, so the email is there, and I will be doing readings from now till the month of June. From June to August, I will be off from readings on personals. Okay, um, so let's see what happens now. Okay, so before we get started, I'm going to take out some oracle cards. And the oracle cards, these are just a theme to see what's happening for you. Just additional messages that you may want or need. Okay, uh, so we're going to get started with this right away. Libra from October 16th to the 22nd. Nice, nice. Okay, and okay. Now we're going to take also a card from your animal totem to see what is the message that they want to deliver to you. Okay. And then we'll get into your tarot reading for Libra. Oh. That card wanted to come out. Okay, you got two cards. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna take my glasses to read. Actually, let me just clean them. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so you got first light. Gemini had the same card, okay? Uh, and it says beginning of a new cycle. So there's a new cycle that's taking place in this uh, first light. It's beautiful, all right. Next card that shows up in your reading is the deer. So deer, it's about gentleness, the deer. And it says here, this is a reminder to be more gentle with yourself and others. The grace, sensitivity, and gentleness of the spirit animal echoes the qualities brought forth when living from the heart. So to be gentle with yourself and others at this time, the deer. And the last one you got, last but not least, you got the hummingbird. And it says lightness. The hummingbird it says here it is time for you to pursue your dreams with determination by doing this you will make them a reality joy is just around the corner but you have to believe that it is possible to manifest your vision stop waiting and doubting so you got deer and the hummingbird okay so let's get started with your reading we're going to do the celtic cross we're going to look at your situation what's crossing you as your challenge Okay, of course, uh, and uh, your immediate future, we're going to look into, wait a second, there's a card that doesn't belong here. We're going to look into uh, what is in from you in your environment and your outcome, and then I will clarify the cards for you, all right? Okay, these two cards do not belong. Libra from... Uh, October 16th to the 22nd. camera so blurry I cleaned it no, I don't know maybe it's just the energy around today okay you got two cards <laughs> oh my god Libra can I tell you that you're in your power yes you are your first card come out that's you okay justice karma things coming into balance this has to do with the eclipse as well you're right there and what's crossing you and your challenge is the Six of Cups. 
about your past. Let's look at the root. Six of Swords, I like this. Better times are coming ahead for you. You're going through a transition. Restore peace, blessings. Leaving something behind, moving forward. Learning from past mistakes and life lessons. In the recent past till now, you've got the Four of Pentacles you were holding back. In your strength is happiness. The Ten of Cups. This could be a relationship. This could be you feeling happy, contented with people, family. It could be anybody in your life. Your, it could be your home and your environment. It could be a, in your community. There could be a soulmate energy here. In the immediate future, you got the Five of Wands. There's conflict. From what? From people from your past. People. Could be anybody. Could be anything. Or drama. In the you position, why are you? The Ten of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This is beautiful. This is something long term. Through the life, it could be a legacy, but it could be about an estate, a home, uh, or some type of project. Whatever it is, there's the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. This could be also a relationship that it's uh, something that's going to be forever. That, that's what it feels like, okay? Um, now, for others of you, it's just uh, in the way that you are feeling at this time and what you're working towards. And uh, there is the, for the life, there is prosperity here. And what you're not seeing in your environment, the Six of Wands. From the Five of Wands, you went to the Six of Wands. That's good. There's recognition here for every, the hard work. You went through a milestone. There is victory and success. Okay, people are going to see you differently, notice you differently. In the Hopes and Fears, you got the Four of Cups. There's something here that uh, you're bored with. You're not taking any uh, accountability. Not that, no, not that, no, you are taking accountability, but it's like uh, whatever, if there is conflict or drama in a situation from a past or situation in the past here, uh, you're not doing it anymore, Libra. You're done with it. In your outcome, you got the nine of wands. You're persevering. You're moving forward. You're tired, okay? In faith, you're persevering, moving forward, and you're determined to move forward. And there, you're going through a lot of completions, completions here. Right? Definitely completions. And you could be blocking people or situations or just patterns or emotions, whatever that held you back before. And in the overall, you've got the Three of Swords. You're, you're healing here. There's an energy of sense that there could be grief, disappointment that you're healing. And underneath, you have the Ace of Wands. Okay, beautiful. New beginnings taking place. Passionate beginning within yourself, around you. Could be around the job. Could be about just waking up in the morning and feeling just amazing. Whatever it is, there's, there could be also chemistry. We hear it with someone, okay? So now let's uh, clarify. Let's look at the Three of Swords in the overall. Why is the Three of Swords here for you from July? Oh, sorry. Did I say July? Sorry. I meant... <laughs> why did I say July? Maybe something took place in July. Uh, from October 16th to the 22nd. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Magician. Wow, I love this for you, Libra. Wow. Yeah, something July, August was very important. That's why maybe I mentioned that because it does show me. It took you a lot of inner strength to heal. This Three of Swords energy. Why? Wow, look what you're doing for yourself. You're moving forward very slowly towards your goals and dreams. You're planning things ahead. You're making progress. There is some type of gift that's coming in, whether it's a person, money, or situation over this grief, and you've been manifesting it, okay? You have all the power and all the tool here to achieve anything that you want, okay? And also to raise your vibration as well as you're going through a healing. Now let's look at justice in the situation. You came into your own reading, first card out. That's pretty powerful, Libra. So let's look at this. Seven of Cups. 
the start card, the tower reversed. Well, it could be endings in your uh, situation. It could be endings of people or pe situation. It could be people, situations. It could be emotions, patterns, whatever it is. The tower is reversed. So this already took place. It's showing me that some things here because karma is coming in. If you were feeling confused around situations or wherever your goals, your dreams were, even though you, you are able and you are dreaming big, whatever the confusion was, whatever that is taking place here, justice is coming in. Okay, right? Mm -hmm. Karma is coming in. Some things will end and there will be new beginnings as you move along. It could be also within the self and you got the star card. There's a wish that wants to be granted here. There's a wish to be granted. Okay, definitely. And uh, in this wish that's going to be granted, this is almost like it's uh, you're guided. You're being guided uh, at this time. You're being guided, right? Uh, to uh, this is like a, a guidance of your north node like where you're going, right? In, in, in the direction of you're going. There's vitality, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna have faith and hope restored, all right? Beautiful. Now we're gonna look at the challenge and it's asking you to take action towards it. So let's look at the Six of Cups here as a challenge and what's crossing you. Why is the Six of Cups here for Libra? Three of Wands, Nine of Cups, of swords a lot of threes there's an offer could be many offers coming in here definitely but there's definitely an offer it's a uh, you're still healing the past okay there's still like feeling nostalgic of the past healing of the past maybe you're still feeling at times heartbroken okay or just grief or over a situation but you're moving past this because with the nine of cups you are open your heart is open and maybe at this time you're feeling vulnerable but the six of cups also signifies there is healing and moving on there's also a soulmate energy it could be reunion whatever this is it's like something that you've been waiting for you've been waiting for to go into the next level because you did you have the ten of cups here you have to understand this is in your strength you have the ten of cups okay this is what you want total happiness within yourself and around you okay uh, there could be an arrival of someone as well Okay, but whatever the case is here, okay, you're overcoming this. This is what I'm trying to say. You're moving, you're making progress along the way, healing whatever has to be healed. You're putting a lot of power into yourself as the Page of Pentacles and how you see the how you see yourself. You're rebuilding yourself. This is what it is, right? And there could also be offers coming in while you're in this transition. Let's look at the Six of Swords because you're moving on here. Definitely, some of you might be relocating also. Uh, if it's a, so you, it's a physical move, other of so you, it's just a transition and blessings coming in. Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, Page of Pentacles, King of Swords. I just want to see what this Seven of Swords is. Oh, okay. No. It's how you're perceiving things in a situation here, okay? I did get the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. Definitely there's a message coming in, okay? I feel like while you're retrieving yourself, doing your journey here, uh, there will be a message and there will be an offer on the table. There is an offer. It could be a friendship. It could be a, a start of a friendship. As you're moving through, as you're going through this thing, as you're keeping quiet about what you're going through, there will be a message. So I asked what the Seven of Swords is all about. And they showed me the Lovers, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. There's a choice that you have to make. There's a strong connection here. And you've been taking care of yourself. You've been self-sufficient. You're, you're, you're taking care of yourself, okay? Uh, there's prosperity around you and completions as you're going place. There could be minimal, uh, minimal, yes, minimal communication with someone here, okay? Uh, but the thing is, is how you perceive it. You're going to be thinking new ways in how to perceive it. You're seeing things from a different perspective here, all right? And there is choices because you are going to be pulled in two different directions. Maybe you're going to have two people or two situations, two situations to deal from or choose from, okay? It's almost like when you um, try to take time out and you try to release your energy from people or situations and then someone comes in. Like someone doesn't want to, like, I, what are you doing? I come, you're not communicating with me. This is what it feels like. For, uh, I just got that message for someone. Let's look at the Four of Pentacles. 
page of, uh, in the recent past. The page of wands, five of pentacles, the ten of pentacles. Wow, you did a lot of work here. In terms of finances too, uh, I feel like you're going to do much better here because from the five you went to the to the uh, to the five you went to the ten of pentacles. There's the ace of pentacles. There's the page of pentacles. That's really good to see that. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So in the recent past year, it's pushing you forward from a time maybe you felt left out, ghosted in the dark, or you went through financial problems, whatever the case is, divine timing in the recent past till now is showing up here for you. And then there's positive news because there is something long term. This is what your goal is. You're letting go of patterns, people, and whatever that's been holding you back, you are releasing that and you're getting, you're going to get stronger and stronger as you go along, but there will be still conflict around you. Okay. Drama. And conflict let's look at your strength in your strength you got the ten of cups so let's look at the ten of cups six of cups queen of cups the emperor fire ones there's still conflict now. I don't know if the conflict is uh, within you some of you uh, it has to do with a father figure okay uh, there's conflict about a father figure for others of you it, it, it means other things here okay uh, this is the Aries South, uh, North Node pushing you forward to be individual, okay? Because uh, the Emperor usually it's about I am, I am gonna do this. I'm this is you know, it's more about the I am than we are with the Libra energy, okay? Um, in terms of the healing of the past, people of the past here, there's gonna be harmony here, beautiful harmony, okay? I do see that happiness will be restored. You are open to this. Okay, you are open, you're loving, you're also very psychic here, you're loving, you're caring, you're, you, you give a lot, okay, very beautiful energy, but what it's asking you, whatever this is, whatever this, if it's, this is about a commitment, if this is, has to do with a um, project or work, whatever this is, you, you accumulated a lot here, right, um, in terms of wisdom, and uh, you're not looking into the past anymore, it's done, you dealt with it, with, as, as best as you could, you dealt with something here. And it's just propelling you to move forward here. And it's about you taking action. They want you to take action towards your dreams and your goals and your desires. But maybe inside of you, there could be conflict here. Or there could be someone around you that's insuperior of you. Meaning that they're, they like to control situations. They like to take control of situations, whatever it is here. Okay, if that's the case, that, 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 that's where the conflict could be, right? So I'm just giving you a few scenarios. So now let's look at the five of wands that uh, that uh, in your immediate future. The wheel of fortune, the nine of wands, judgment. Yeah, you're completing something here. It's about trusting yourself. Okay, uh, whatever it is, you're gonna put a block to people that are, you know, that are creating conflict or drama, or whatever it is, you're done with it. And with this judgment, the Wheel of Fortune is coming in. This is a second, second chance you're getting from Jupiter. And this talks about definitely here that there's second chances. Something's destined and faded. Uh, there's there's uh, karma, good luck around you. It's all around you. Are you going to seize the moment? Let's look at the Ten of Pentacles in the U position. You're steady, moving steady towards a goal here. And you're going to get it. It might take a bit of time. But I got the Ten of Pentacles twice. I got the Ten of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. I got the Magician, the Ace of Pentacles. Very nice to see that. Let's look at this. The World. Beautiful. The Chariot. You're moving forward. Yes. Six of Wands. Oh, my God. There's going to be collaboration, teamwork, uh, you know, uh, in your community, in a home. There's a strong foundation even with someone here if you're dealing with a person that is a bit slow moving and more traditional than you. Okay, if the case, that's the case here, it's going to be a strong foundation with a relationship. There is going to be a breakthrough definitely here. It's important for you to listen to your messages and not doubt yourself, okay? Because you're going to the next level. You completed a huge cycle here. Uh, and this is taking place this week. It could be take actually... It is uh, Libra season, so happy birthday to all of Libras. <laughs> Sorry, I must have forgotten to tell you that, but whatever the case is, you're going to the next level. Next level, everything. So if, let's say, your relationships were bad, your relationships are going to be better. If, let's say, a job was bad, or like you're leaving a job to a new job, could be ending relationships, new beginnings, and this is happening because of the solar eclipse in your sign. Actually, I am going to do an all signs reading for 
uh, the solar eclipse for the next six months. So I hope you guys tune into that, okay? You're bringing a lot of change, and this is positive change for everybody on the collective, including yourselves, okay? And whatever it is, you're, you're taking your power back, you're moving forward, you're trusting yourself, you're trusting in the universe, and there's recognition, there's a milestone here. You're going to see the good work. Whatever it is that you had to accomplish here, there's victory and success. And I did have the Six of Wands here uh, twice in your reading also. So, And there's a lot of completions you're going through. Let's look at the Six of Wands in your environment, what, what you're not seeing at this moment. Temperance. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords, the ending of cycles that you're going through. There is light at the end of the tunnel and you are going through a beautiful healing. Okay, you're bringing things into balance, into moderation and communication is going to be the key. There's also beautiful healing. You've been nurturing yourself. It's beautiful and you're, and, and, and you're moving on. There's a sense of moving on from the past, from all the heartache that you had to go through. Whatever that was, just to get some healing. There is beautiful healing here. And you're going like you're going to the next level. So so this is beautiful. So everything is going to be restored, and there's going to be blessings coming in for you. Let's look at the four cups and the hopes and fears. King of Wands, Eight of Cups, Four of Wands, Ten of Cups. You're walking away from confusion. You're walking away from, because you did have a tower moment not too long ago, okay, where maybe there was change that took place from heartache, from being left out, feeling ghosted, feeling that you lacked of something, even in sense of your self-confidence here. So you are walking away uh, from whatever it is that does not serve you any longer with a fort, okay? You're rejecting anything that is also with drama or anything like that. And uh, you've got the king of wands with uh, the four of wands here. You're taking... You want stability because this could be a home. Uh, this could be uh, something, some type of, it could be a, a strong foundation in a community, in your home, in your business. There, there's going to be some type of proposal here and uh, you have to look at the bigger picture into the situation and this is about you taking action. So this is about you taking action towards what? Towards your happiness. This is what it has to do with. What makes you happy? Let's look at the outcome. You got the nine of wands as your outcome. The hermit. Hangman. He so wants. Yeah, you've been waiting for a while. Again, you've been waiting for a while here. You've been in the hangman position, going through your test. You're exhausted here. You've been overlooking. Things were, were not moving along. Okay, whatever it is, you're putting a block to something here. You're done. And you've been taking time out, right, to reflect, to maybe some of you uh, have to go to, into a, a, a deeper, maybe this is what you have been doing. You know, you were going through uh, the dark night of the soul or, so, soul or some type of metamorphosis here where you had to look at everything. You had to look at everything. You had to reflect on everything. And some of you will be doing some of this journey alone and uh, or you have been going through this and the Ace of Wands shows up again. You see, it's here twice. It's the ones. Okay? There's a new beginning taking place for you. And it's time for you to take action. All right? So I hope you enjoyed your reading, uh, Libra. And I uh, hope that this helped you. Take care. Bye.